unsolved. Zodiac Killer Case, Ralph Hall. Ralph Hall was born on July 20th, 1942. He attended St. Vincent Vieira Catholic High School in 1959, and he was the class of 1960. He married Donna Ruth Mason on November 30th, 1963, when he was 21 and she was 17 in Solano County. In 1967, he lived with his wife Donna on 1006 Hargis Avenue, and he was an operator at Golden Rich Corporation. But in 1966, they did not live there. And when they lived there, they lived less than half a mile away from Betty Lou Jensen. And here you can see how close it was. And at that time, there were not all those houses on Hazelwood Street that you see there. When Ralph Hall was nine years old, his father, Ralph V. Hall, died in a hunting accident or of an apparent heart attack. Ralph Harlan Hall's father, Ralph V. Hall was in the military and he worked on Mare Island in 1950. And he was five foot nine inches tall and weighed 160 pounds in 1942. And Ralph Harlan Hall was a hunter also, a deer hunter. And he was seriously injured north of Lake Tahoe in 1978. Sherry Jo Bates was born on February 4th, 1948, and she graduated from Ramona High School in June of 1966, and then she enrolled at Riverside City College around September 1966. She is six years younger than Ralph Hall. In all the family research that I've done on Sherry Jo Bates, she has no connection to the Vallejo area in Northern California. Absolutely nothing. Sherry Jo Bates' father worked at the Corona Naval Ordnance Laboratory in Norco, California which is about a half hour drive away. And they attended St. Catherine's Catholic Church in Riverside. And her older brother was in the Navy in Florida at the time of her death. Sherry Jo Bates was stabbed to death on a Sunday night on October 30th, 1966 about two years before the murders of David and Betty on June 20th, 1968. And there's a lot of similarities between these cases. Sherry Jo Bates's murder and the Zodiac's murders. Because a month later, the murderer of Sherry mailed to the police and the newspaper a typed confession without giving his name and it matched a lot of the crime details of the case. A few weeks after the type confession letter was mailed to the paper and the police, a janitor at the junior college RCC found this poem written on a desk sick of living, unwilling to die. And in previous episodes, I've compared the writing on this desk to the Zodiac letters that when he writes a little sloppier and the writing to me matches. We know a great deal about the suspect 
in the murder of Sherry Jo Bates because he was described as a heavy set young man about 5'11 with a beard and his shoe size is between 8 and 10 and he dropped this watch on the ground and Sherry Jo Bates pulled some of his hair out and some of his skin was under her fingernails and so they have that in a lab and so they could check that with the DNA and this is why it's important to the Zodiac Killer case so I'm looking to see if Ralph Hall has any connection to Riverside and he worked at Golden Ridge Corp and I don't know what that is it could be a trucking business and so maybe he traveled around so if anybody could help me out and tell me what the Golden Ridge Corp is and where its headquarters is located I would greatly appreciate that now there's a Golden Ridge Corp oil company from China or something and that's not it this is a business that was operating in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. The reason Ralph Harlan Hall is so important is because he's connected to the murders of David and Betty through this police report. The raccoon hunter Robert Canelli suggested to the police that they should go to Harlan's house to look for a gun that might be connected to this case. And looking into these clues, it takes time to do the investigative work or research to find out. For example, it has Robert's California license plate as D26024. And so I spoke to a police officer and he tried or attempted to run that license plate but it's too old for this current system. So he suggested going to the Department of Voter Vehicles. Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved. And there's still some possible connections to Riverside that need to be checked out. For example, Sherry and Ralph Hall were members of the Catholic Church. And so that's a possible connection. And then the military. Sherry's father worked at the Corona Naval Laboratory in Norco. And that might have a connection to Vallejo and Mare Island. So I'll see you next week with more information.